I made it and the ride up here was awesome until you get to the last two kilometers. That was the most sketchy. I used to ride motorcycles. I have no problem being on two wheels. That was sketchy. Those last two kilometers, like the road got real narrow and it was just, I mean, it may as well have been half paved with rock. It, it was bad. It was just pothole after pothole, tree roots. I mean, it was very scary because it was all downhill and there was like other cars coming. It was, it was rough, it was rough. Other than that last two kilometers, the trip up here was fantastic. It was a nice, cool ride. Oh man, it was wonderful. It's been a while since I've only had two wheels on the road. I will say though, if you have no experience driving a, a moped or a motorcycle, do not make this trip up here. Do not. Like I said, the roads are narrow and it's like straight cliff, straight down. Like straight, straight off the mountain. It's one wrong turn and goodbye. You're gonna lose more than just your security deposit on the scooter. Like I said though, my initial reason for coming up here was because I wanted to get some beautiful sunset photos. But that's not gonna happen now. There's no way. I'm not, uh, I'm not driving back that two kilometers in the dark. Noob. There's a chicken just walking around. Okay, I take that back. There are a ton of chickens in this village. It's probably half of its population, if not more. See? I'm still not sure if I want to continue making these vlogs or not, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep messing with the camera settings until I figure it out because I might want to do other video projects in the future. Anyways, right now I'm in manual focus and I hope I'm in focus because again, I, I can't tell if I'm in a frame or not. I can't see myself. I can't tell if I'm in focus. If not, I'll figure it out in post and you'll have to deal with it either way. All right. Rude. All right, seeing as how I haven't had anything to eat yet today, literally nothing, and I've been awake for, I don't know, probably 12 hours or so, I'm gonna find something to eat in this little village. tell you what, one thing I am super grateful for is this breeze. It is fantastic. Down in the city, it was like 95 degrees or something like that outside, but coming up the mountain, you can literally feel the temperature dropping as you ascended the mountain. It was fantastic. And right now, it's probably like, I don't know, 75 or something. It feels wonderful. <laughs> I wonder if there's an Airbnb up here. And I'll just stay here for the for the remainder of my time in Chiang Mai. 